Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this much anticipated, at least for me it is, Lego Star Wars review. So we are today reviewing the awesome Sand Crawler. So this is set 75059, it's for ages 14 plus. Comes with a huge piece count of 3,296. And it retails here in the UK currently for £249.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. So first thing to mention, this is a UCS set. So that is an Ultimate Collector's Series. Okay, so myself and my little helper, um, who's here again today, Ethan. Do you want to come and say hello? Hello. I have to go down, Ethan. Look, you can see yourself there. Look, over this way. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, so myself and Ethan are going to have a look at this set today, um, and this is a very, very large set. So this is probably going to be quite a long video. So please bear with us. There are a lot of minifigures, and this set has a lot of features. An absolute fantastic set. So let's get straight into this review and the first thing we're going to take a look at is a quick look at all of those minifigures. Okay, so here we go. So first off we have our Jawas um, and we have two different variants of this. So this is the first variant and the torso printing is what is different. Um, and also the style of gun that each comes with. So the one you're looking at now comes with this little style of a weapon. And the second one it comes with that style. Okay, on to the other two, which we can see here. So that's just a different variant there. So again, you can see the torso printing, which is, is what is different. Okay, and moving on to our next two minifigures. We have Uncle Owen and Luke Skywalker, um, which we can see there. Luke Skywalker with his blue lightsaber. Then moving on um, further, we have uh, C3PO. Okay, next we have R2D2. Um, then we have moving on to next is R5D4 um, and an R2 unit. We then have the very end here have our Gonk droid, um, and at the very end there, that is a small little droid um, which can be built from the individual pieces which are on the sand crawler in um, individual barrels, and we'll show you that. <clears throat> when we look at the ban uh, sorry, uh, the sand crawler itself. And our final two droids are the Treadwell droid and the R1 series droid. So let's have a quick look at the rear of all of those minifigures. Okay, so just uh, panning across the rear of all of those droids and figures. So you can see some of obviously the rear detailing and there into the Jawas. And panning back around again. So that is a quick look at all of the minifigures. Okay, here we go guys. So this is the awesome sand crawler. So then, Ethan, what should we show them first, you reckon? Because there is so much to show on this set, isn't there? The what? Speak up. The crane. And Ethan wants us to show you the crane first. The crane, sir. There's two of them. Oh, no, you're right. There are two cranes. So I think what we'll do, as we're looking at this side, we will try and work our way around from the side to show you the functions on each side of this, because, like I said, there is a lot. So, yeah. First of all, these all open up, which is Ethan is showing us. Um, and in each one of these, there are these small Square. small barrels or containers, um, which is what I referred to earlier. And where's he gone? 
the little droid what actually happens so let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see actually see what I'm talking about so this little droid um, go comes apart into uh, pieces and each of the barrels fits in each one of these slots so let's just show you that so for example that might hold this headpiece like so put that back on and that will go into that middle section we then have another barrel which may hold that piece and that can go in there we then have let's take off one of these little arms and go in that barrel and go in that final container there if we spin it around We've got exactly the same on this side, which Ethan's just taken out, so another barrel. And if we put his other hand in there, or arm rather, like so. And that just slots back into there, closes down. His main body, just put that in the container, like so. Go in the middle one. And the final, the foot piece, Ethan's putting it into the final barrel, which will go into the final section, which we can see there. Let's have a look. No, no, that's too big for that, isn't it? By the looks of it. No, let's just put it on that for now. So remember that, the foot is too big for that piece. Maybe it goes in the square. Yeah, it will do on the other side. So let's just leave that for now. Let's just pretend that does fit in there. And it closes in there like that. Um, I wish Ranger, I wish swap that around in a little while, Ethan, okay? Yeah? So they all fit into the sides there. So next thing while we're zoomed in here, we have this piece here, which opens. And that's what the containers um, or the droids actually can go through there onto the crane and they fall into containers, but we will show you that in a second. So let's just zoom out a bit, Ethan. Okay, so next thing to show you is these sides. So actually there what Ethan's shown you there, you've got this little ladder in the very bottom, which goes up and down. Sides come up doing? like that. So we've got the rear side which comes up. Why do we need that? The ladder it was on the real one, Ethan. You can get in there so the drivers can get in and out. Yeah. In there. So it's for display. There's no function there, so that's for display purposes, the ladder at the bottom. So this side comes up, which allows us to, uh, to get into this area here. We can see the mechanism there um, inside, which operates the um, wheels. Okay, so moving along, we have this front piece which comes up as well. There's a little um, a little lever or handle piece there which you can grab hold of to open that section up. So if we just open that up there. And again, that just gives us some access to the inside. So while we're there, I will take out... And this is one of the crates. So it comes with three um, of these crates which we can obviously use inside to um, capture and store the droids like that um, and again that will just simply slot back inside then we'll get a better look at that when I show you the inside from the top in a second okay so continuing round to the front now um, actually while we're here because this is so Big. It's quite difficult to show you some of these things, but I will show you in a second from the top view. But up here, there is oh, a little arm with a crank on it, a cog, and you turn that, and that raises and lowers the front, like so. So you can see that going down and up as I spin this, and that obviously gives us access to the front of the sand crawler. Just these lights. Hopefully, we can see a little bit better in there. Get light in it. Let's see a little 
little bit better, but it's difficult to get some light into that. Um, so first thing I'll show you in there, there is this little speeder. So there's a little speeder that sits in there, which the obviously the jar was um, operate. You can see they're a bit better now. And that is a sticker on the top there. So everything you do see on this set is a sticker. I think there is one printed tile from memory when I put this together, but I can't remember where it is. <laughs> um, yeah. But if I discover it when I'm taking you around the set, I will point it out. So that just simply slides back in. And again, there's a little section there to keep that in there. So the first crane of two is here, um, which we can see just hanging down there. And again, let's zoom that in a little bit. You can see that a bit better. And there we go. Um, and this actually extends out. So we can pull that out, which we can see a bit better then. If I just spin the set around, and we can see that there as well. So again, you can just pull that out like so and push it back in. And again, this works on a cog, which is here, black piece. Um, and we just simply spin that around. It's awkward to do this and show you at the same time. I'll spin that round. And obviously we can see that now lowering so we can get that so it goes right down to the bottom like that and simply turn it the other way to start obviously raising that crane and there are a number of attachments that fit onto these crane pieces and I'll show you those with the other crane um, in a second so again just turn that and close the front up like so and just go around to the other side. Move these lights back out. Okay, so first of all, we have the same functions on each side of this. So that side comes up there, and the end um, also comes all the way up like so. Okay, and in here we have another crate, um, obviously, uh, this side also, um, which I already pointed out and showed you that. And again, that is obviously where we can. Um, place some of the droids so they can fit in there quite nicely. Again, just slot that down into position if we close that one up. Um, again there we have another one of these door areas um, and I will show you what that's predominantly used for. Um, at this opening here um, we have these ladders and they just simply lift up and extend out and go down like so. Don't reach all the way to the ground, um, but obviously there's another obviously access point there to get into the sand crawler. Okay, finally we go around to the rear of the sand crawler. First of all, there is some great detailing, I have to say, on the rear of this sand crawler. Um, took quite a bit of time to put this bit together. Um, real lot of detailing, excellent use of pieces. Quite a few stickers here on the rear as well, um, but I think it really does look the part. So the main thing to point out whilst we are looking at the rear here are obviously the tracks at the bottom. Um, and how we operate those are through this piece here. And you can see that as I'm turning that, that obviously turn those tracks. And then you can obviously pull it and push it along using that as well. And obviously it can be maneuvered and steered like that. Okay, so I've just taken this off the tripod now because uh, that's going to be easier to show you the top and the functions on the top and indeed inside. So again, just carrying on from obviously what was the rear. We have some good detailing on the top, so the rear as well. Um, we're moving across the top of the sand crawler here. There is um, what I was showing you earlier. So this is what lowers and raises the bottom there. So you can see now as I'm turning that, you should be able to see that there. OK, 
Okay, so across to the front of the sand crawler. So again, this is another section that opens up. So this just simply lifts up and we'll go all the way back like that. Um, and then inside um, we have obviously the numerous control panels obviously to operate the sand crawler itself. Um, and again, these are stickers, uh, multiple stickers um, in this particular section. As you can see there, there, around to the screens. Uh, and if I can get right the way around here, now looking at the rear, we have the big, obviously, monitor um, screen there, which as you can see is obviously picking up um, a little minifigure there. And there we go so that's the main control area so if we just come out of that close that back up okay shot like that okay so now we will show you the inside so there are two main areas that come off so first of all here at the rear this just simply lifts off and if I'll pass this to you if that's okay he says simply lifts off and I can't lift it off and he's just broken it again. Typical. Normally you could do it easily. I know, I don't know why that's not coming off now. Maybe we have to take this bit Hold off on. first. Yeah, okay, let's take that bit off first. So there's the big main so that Ethan's just taken off there. There you go, thanks Ethan. Which then gives us access to the main section. So let's try and lift this off again. Yeah, you yeah. might be right, Ethan. So that piece lifts off. <laughs> which then shows us down into the rear there. Again, trying to get some additional light inside. Okay, so what we want to show you next is the crane that's in here. And this is actually this, so first of all it can move across like so. And up yeah. now. We lift it up like this. Move it uh, and then there's this poor small piece at the bottom which we lift up to keep it in position like that. This can extend and move out. Um, for the actual crane piece again, we just simply turn the knob there and you can see it is going down. The actual crane piece lowers down. So where this um, is used, if we take it right the way to the end here, this can spin out and actually extend. So there we can now see it is actually over the side of the sand crawler. Um, and then if we lower it, we'll start to lower, like so. Yeah, Ethan's just pointing out. We have here, hold on Ethan. Here, so here and here and below that are a couple of attachments, which I referred to earlier, which go on the cranes. So if you want to get them out, Ethan. Just hold it, hold them for a second, just those two. So first of all, we have, give us one of them. We have that piece, there we go. And that can just hook onto, yeah. onto the crane, onto the hook. Right there. Can you put it on for me, Ethan, please? Hold on, Come on. Them out. There you go, Ethan's just showing you, so there we go. That's hooked on, so that can be, um, used for lifting up one of the, well anything really, one of the droids which Ethan's going to try and show us now. Not sure that's the best one for picking one of those up Ethan. Might be able to do something. No, no, you've done it, well done. Okay, so then what Ethan's now doing is raising it, get it level with the little door Ethan. Keep going. That's it. So what happens is it then gets pushed in through the doors, which you can see there, which Ethan's just done. And it gets stuck. And what ends up happening then is it's straight into the crate. Well done, Ethan. You've got these, obviously, pieces here which represent runners that fall down. And it ends up in the third and final crate, which is there. So there you can see upside down is the one that Ethan just dropped in there. Well done, Ethan. That was a good shot. One. Okay, so we We've then have one. This one. that one. We then have this piece. Let's have a look. 
We have that piece there, which is another attachment. You want to put that one on the crane? Lower it down. Okay, and again, the same with that. That can be lowered down, and again, that can pick up um, one of the droids. So if you're just going to get another, get the droid out. Empty that one out. Yeah, let's put it on the um, bottom of it then, Ethan. Hold on, I just need to put them back in there. Okay. Show us how that looks when it's hanging. I can put it on the crane, on the hook. Just leave it there. There you go, so we can see how that is then holding that. So again, Ethan's going to demonstrate for us. Raise the crane. As you can see Ethan doing there. That's it, that's enough. And again, just push it through the door. And he has landed. Yay! Well done, he's landed in the crate. Do you want to get that crate out next, Ethan? Crate. The one that you just landed in. Yeah. Get the whole crate out. Oh, yeah, put that down there. Okay, so if we take that one off. Oh, so I our, know. our final one, we have another attachment in here. Hidden away in here, believe it or not. So it is actually. I'll try and get it out with my big fat hand. Yeah, thanks, Ethan. My big fat hand. <laughs> So there's that piece, but it is another crane attachment. So that is used for the crates, which Ethan is now showing us. Excellent job, Ethan. I sure can catch it. Okay, so lower the crane again, bring it all the way to the end. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so Ethan's going to hook it on. Excellent, so you can raise that. So now we can see the final attachments which are used to actually lift the containers themselves. So you could have a full container or an empty container. Like that. And again, what we would do obviously is get this up to here. Can you just unhook the ends, Ethan? Okay, and then what would obviously happen is the crane would put it in there and you can see that's a perfect fit through that window. Let's just move up to there. Don't push it yet. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get in here so that we can is that see it come no. through. Can I push it through? Yeah, so push it through now. And there we go, so there you can see sideways. it Sideways. Fanning sideways, but you get the idea guys, that obviously fits into there. Ready? Final shot into the side there, so you can see those two crates. There's that crate. Yes, Ethan, what else have we got? Have I forgot anything? I'll try to show them, Shane. Okay. The video is getting a bit long now, Ethan. I think we're going to have to uh, start to uh, round up with this one. Um, while Ethan's doing that, I'm just going to spin this round a little bit. Actually. Anything. Just so that we can get a bit of a look at those tracks there at the rear. We can see that. Um, if I'm turning that again, we can see that. Awesome, you've got four sets of tracks at the rear, and another four sets of tracks at the front. These ones don't turn. Um, but the way they've designed them, um, they've got sort of um, suspension. I'm going to try and turn this up now, and this is a beast of a set. I'm praying I don't drop this. Um, you can kind of see the underside there. What was that? Probably the crates, or oh, it's the speeder. Oh yeah, he spread off his face. Okay, so Ethan's going to show us one final lift. And while he does that, I'm just going to... Uh, and it has got a minifigure in this time. It's got a minifigure in there, has it? Yep. It's got a droid in there, who's in there? R2-D2. Oh yeah, R2-D2's in there, well done. So Ethan's now got R2-D2 in the crate. Attaching the crane. Well, and Ethan show us this lift in it now. There. there we go. And he's lifting up. Awesome. Right. Should I just hold this for me, Dad? That's it, you got it. And... Why isn't he going down? That's it. Come here. 
There we go. Yay! Perfect. There he is. Okay, well done, Ethan. What do you think of this set then, Ethan? Mm, really, 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 really good. Yeah, me too. I think it is an awesome set. I want to. It is good for playing with. Good for playing with. There you go. That's mm. from. That's the view of a six-year-old. Um, but yeah, I'd agree. I think this is an awesome set for playing with. It is an absolute spectacular Wish set. I had one. <laughs> it's a spectacular set to have on display for us a foals. Um, it will be going on display. It will be going on a shelving unit for for certainly for me. Um, anyway, let's uh, start to put these pieces back away now. So for storing the crane, um, I'll stop getting the mini ready. We bring the piece up. We have to lower the piece there that holds the crane in place, and the whole crane unit folds down. So what that then allows us to do is if we take there's the top. And that just slots yeah, over that like so. One of these. And mm -hmm. simply slots in place like that, very easy. And the rear piece, which for some reason I couldn't get off, just yeah. simply slots in place like, like that you, again. You didn't take that bit off first. All fits in very easy actually. He says. Because I'm trying to do all this one-handed at the moment. There we go. So that's that slotted back in place. So there we go, guys. The sand crawler. Okay, guys. There we go. That is our review of the awesome, and I use that word again repeatedly. The awesome Lego Star Wars sand crawler set seven five zero five nine. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. There you go, Ethan. There's Ethan's thumb. Um, no. Spent a lot of time making this. Um, obviously 3,296 pieces. I would say this took me between six and seven hours. I reckon about seven hours maybe. Possibly seven hours to totally build this. I did it over three nights, I think it was. Okay. Um, two. Ethan thinks two, but it was probably three. I think it was three consecutive nights, um, a couple of hours a time, maybe you know two, two and a half hours um, on and off. Um, but it was well worth it, well worth the build, an enjoyable build. Um, a lot of technic pieces in this, um, some of them a bit fiddly. Um, the track pieces, my god, because you can see there are eight sets of tracks, so there was a lot of track pieces um, to put together. But that does not take away at all the enjoyment of both building this set and then the satisfaction of seeing it completed and like Ethan said there are a lot of play functions on this it's really fun to play with um, but unfortunately for Ethan um, this particular set is going to be going up on display yep. um, he may get an opportunity to play with it every now and then and you never know Ethan Santa might bring you one if uh, you wish hard enough anyway guys that's enough of me waffling on um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Please do but leave it's some. It's really long until Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I know it's long till Christmas. Please do. I'll be never getting one. Well, you never know. Please do leave me some feedback and go ahead and ask questions of me and other people that obviously contribute to the YouTube community. Um, there's a lot of us that watch each other's videos, so uh, please do Ethan. do that. Yes, Ethan. You can put a barrel on there. Speed of work. Oh yeah, well done. Sorry, Ethan has just spotted something. Uh, that may be worth showing. Let's just quickly move out. Sorry, guys. So, what we can also do, I have to take the jar we're off the, mind out the way of the camera, take the jar we're off the speeder and we can attach a uh, one of the containers to the speeder, like that. This is what Ethan did, by the way. He did a Luke Skywalker there. But we can actually see now that uh, you can fit. Perfectly, um, the container there. Anyway, guys, sorry. Um, that's it. Give it the big thumbs up, comments, questions, feedback, etc., down in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to show them, Ethan. Going to stand in front. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much. Appreciate all your support. It's nice Press Lego, please subscribe. Yeah, please subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much, everyone. See you in the next video. Cheers.
Peace. Say bye, Thane. Bye.